Hi folks, I thought I would show another card featuring my stamp set. It's called uh, Nesting Dolls and it's um, from Pinecone Pottery uh, and Crafts. And the one we're going to do today is going to feature her and a couple of these in the largest heart. And we're going to use the Happy Birthday from all of us. And we're going to make a step card. So first thing you're going to need, and I've already prepped the elements to go on to it except for the cardstock. So what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock and cut five and a half by eight and a half. Then you're going to put that in and make a cut at three inches. So find your three inch mark and you're going to cut in one inch from this end and one inch from this end. So, oh wait, yeah, one inch or three inches from this end, sorry. So three inches in, and you're going to put a mark, or put a uh, cut, and you're going to go one inch this way, so that the widest part of this is three inches, and the other part is two and a half. So at the one inch mark, you're going to start your cut, and you're going to go all the way to uh, six and a half inches. So start here. Go all the way to six and a half inches. And it helps tremendously if you cut your paper correctly in the first place. So, so it has to be eight and a half inches long to start with. And I had it like eleven. So that's why that confused face. Okay, so now it's correct. Now it's eight and a half inches long um, by five and a half inches wide. You start your first mark um, three inches from this side, so this side is two inches, and then, or three inches on this side, two and a half inches on this side, and then you put a slice down from one inch all the way to six and a half. Then, and put away the slicer for now. Get out a scoreboard. Mine is very well loved. Get the rulers in there. Okay. And you're going to hold it so that the shorter side is here, the middle line, and then the longer. From one inch in, you're going to score down to, or well, let's just start first. See, there's a line here you're going to measure up in your side of your paper. I don't know if I'm showing you that right. The Martha Stewart scoreboard, you want your, see where that line is right here? You want your paper lined up there. That's where you want to have your paper. Then, at the one inch line, at the one inch line, you're going to put, um, your first score. I'm trying to do this sideways. And start at that cut line. Ignore this. As I'm trying to do it sideways, I've got my paper all turned weird. Then at the two inch line, you know what? It would be easier just to do it this way. So eight and a half, so seven and a half. Here's the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna s I switch to my um, my stylus because my hands shake. So using this wasn't working. I was starting to pierce the paper, and I don't want that. So I had to find the uh, stylus. So first, you're gonna go one inch from this edge. So I turned the paper around. This is the wide edge. This is the more narrow side the, in reference to the uh, slit in the middle. Um, so an inch in, then another inch, then an inch and a quarter. So an inch and a quarter. And from there, go to 
another inch and a quarter. So let's see. That's one inch and a quarter. From here, do another two inches. So one, two, let's do one, two. And that should put you right at the end of that slit. So an inch, then another inch, then an inch and a quarter, another inch and a quarter, and then two inches. So now we're going to flip it. And the only one we're going to do, make sure that, because you're, if you're using the Martha Stewart one, make sure you line it up with this, not the zero, or not the very side. Um, go to four and a quarter. So four and a quarter. And that's the middle of the card. Okay. Now you've got your, your card. Your first fold is going to be the middle one. And your next ones are going to be this one, which is going to go down. The next one will go up, the next one down, the next one up, the next one down. And what you'll have is a cute little step card. So I'm going to reinforce the folds with the bone folder that I was having trouble with earlier. Okay, so those folds are done. And now we're going to decorate it. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the paper slicer and we're going to cut a mat to go here. And for that I'm using the paper from Nana's Kids because I still want that retro look. Um, if you have any questions about how to use my stamps, go to the most the video previous to this one, and it'll say new products or new product, and I can't remember the rest of the title, but it'll be the one exactly previous to this one. So we're going to try to cut this paper to fit here, and then we'll have our nesting doll. She kind of has a zombie look to her right now because we haven't put pupils onto her. But she's going to go here. And a happy birthday is going to go down here. And again, we're looking for a very retro look. So this is going to be uh, that kind of bold colors and all this. Anyway, so we're going to cut a piece that's going to be just a little bit smaller here and here and then we're going to follow it along right here. So, we're going to trace. Can you get me a pencil? Well, firstly, we know that it's going to be four and uh, four and a quarter inches wide, so all we're really worried about is cutting out this chunk. Okay, so failing a pencil, we'll just make marks on the back of it with a pencil. Okay. So we're going to cut out from here to here. And here. Just follow the shape of the card. There we go. And we're going to slice along the pencil lines and then we'll trim it up even more. We want it more narrow than uh, than the paper itself actually is. So I cut that inside the pa uh, inside the pencil line. Here's the pencil line. I cut it at an eighth of an inch in, and I think I'm going to cut it just a little bit more, just to 
give more of a border. Okay, so that's the wide part of the card, um, or the tall part. Now we're going to cut, this is my pencil line, so I'm going to cut inside of it. Okay. We know that this butted up against the edge, so I want to cut a little bit inside of that. And now the tricky part is going to be to cut inside here and then inside this line. So I'm going to give myself a little pencil mark to guide me. But when I get to that pencil mark, I need to stop. A little bit more, a little bit more, there. And now when I get to this pencil line going this way, I need to stop. And that should cut out that shape pretty accurately. Okay. So this is going to mat here. Oh, I forgot to cut off a little bit for the bottom. It's okay. Trim up the bottom a little bit. Okay, so now we've got this shape to go here. It's kind of L shape. And it's going to go here. Can you get me my ATG, please? Okay. So we're going to put this part on the card. Oopsie. And I need my foam adhesive, too. I think it's over here somewhere. And we're going to center the um, little L shape that we cut onto the card base. So there we go with that. And now we're going to cut pieces to go. So I don't want them all to be the same. So I'm going to use this because it goes pretty well with this paper here. And I'm going to cut these slightly. Slightly taller. Slightly taller than the uh, step that it's going into. So I'm going to mark the back. I could measure, but it's easier to mark. And I'm going to make that one go about right there. And I'll show you what I'm going to do once I get a little bit more done here. I didn't have much planned for this card except for the sentiment that I wanted to use. So you're kind of seeing how I put a card together as I do it. Okay, this one is ready to go in here. And we are going to trim using the Fiskars, not too sure what the name of this one is, but it's got kind of a scalloped edge to it. You just got to uh, line up your paper with the guides that are there. This one will go here. I'm going to raise it up so that you can see um, light through that. So I need the ATG for this. I don't need a lot, just a little bit. And 
and I'm just going to line it up where I think I think it looks good. That'll be good enough. And we'll do that one more time for this one. And I think the right there will be just about right. So we'll slice, slice the paper along that line. Trim it with the Fiskars thing again. this one in. I'm going to put that up so that it is a little bit high too. And now I've got some little things that I cut from cut from the stamps earlier. I've got the From All of Us and it's kind of got that old kind of worn look to the lettering. And it's kind of distressy looking. So I'm going to straighten that piece of paper out and decide if I'm going to have have that edge up there too. And I think I might. you get the idea. Actually, I don't like that very much. So I'm going to cut that off. And I think the girls behind it will give it a better this strip go here. So I'm going to have to trim here. Makes my eyes twitch. It doesn't go the way I want it to. <laughs> so I'm going to trim this down. It's not going the way I had in my head, but I'm just going to keep going. Because at this point, what can you really do? You can either cry about it or deal with it. And I'm going to choose to deal with it. So I'm going to cut at this little edge of the, um, what is that called? The little scallop. I trimmed it a little bit long so that I can move it. Okay, so that's going to go here from all of us. And it's going to kind of fall along that top edge and the colors are going to show through the little holes at the bottom. And then, um, let's see, next is to put the largest of the nesting dolls onto some foam adhesive. Oopsie. And we're going to put her here. And she has that zombie look, and I'll show you what I've got to do to, f or what I've got planned for that once I get everything together. I'm 
put two foam dots on, on the back of her. And I'm going to lift up the happy birthday onto um, uh, two thicknesses of foam. Okay, so there's that. And I probably could have chosen a less um, busy background here to put her on. I was really going for that. that look. Okay, so there's that. That kind of busy retro look that they hmm, that they have um, in a lot of the stuff I've seen, and I remember having too. <laughs> or over the top and busy. That's what we're going for. There we go, two thicknesses. And we're going to put the happy birthday so She's right up on top of it. Let's move her a little bit. Move her up a little. There we go. So it's happy birthday from all of us. And the all of us in this are these little dolls. We're going to tuck slightly down. These are going to get tucked slightly down. So that the little holes show the color of their the bottoms of them the bottom of their okay now we've also got some hearts that we can use kind of soften the edges here. And for this I'm just going to adhere it with a little bit of ATG. Oh my. Why doesn't this want to work? Okay, I'll leave off the other hearts for right now, and I will show you what we're going to do about the zombie dolls. We take a toothpick, we get the black enamel accents, and make a little puddle. Okay. 
and I'd use my stylus, but I really don't want to mess it up. Get a little bit of black on your um, toothpick and just give them googly eyes. And that's all there is to it. And I used the white enamel accents for their eyeballs, the base of their eyeballs, and I just used the black as I showed you. So it's got that. So I could add the other little hearts in here if I wanted to, down beside her, or maybe even on the Happy birthday somewhere. I'm not too sure. Or I could skip the third one altogether, or fourth one altogether, but there's the card. Hope you liked it. Hope you um, enjoyed the process, even though I've made a bunch of mistakes. <laughs> but that's part of it. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Talk to you later. Bye.